Hello friends, welcome back to the West Fork Homestead. It's Valentine's Day today and uh, I'm out here trying to get a snowshoe hair for a candlelight dinner tonight. I left my soul made at home. It's been a little cold lately. So uh, here I am out here by myself. But I did bring my Labrador in case I do get a snowshoe hair. Uh, maybe she can help me sniff it out of the snow. But anyway, I'm heading out over toward the mountain where there's a creek that runs through a deep canyon over there. I'm hoping to find some snowshoe hares over there. If I could just get one for supper, well, it'll be a nice little candlelight dinner. So stay tuned and uh, I'll take you along with me as we go hunt for the elusive snowshoe hare in the Okanagan Highlands. I haven't gone very far and I found a nice fresh set of tracks here, snowshoe hare tracks. Leading off into this direction. Matter of fact, there's two, two sets. There's another set over here. Now these woods aren't what I would describe as being prime habitat. There's not a lot of thick cover or water nearby. But the tracks don't lie. We had about an inch of fresh snow. There might be a little bit more at this location, but an inch of fresh snow thereabouts last night and then it quit snowing so this is just the perfect time to go out looking for these rabbits i think i'll follow this these sets of tracks and see where they lead to take and smell that hair it's been across here this morning i'm gonna keep her close by because she'll scare them off Okay, well that bunny's been in here hanging around under these trees. There's a network of bunny tracks. The question is, where is the bunny? Okay, well... We've given up on that set of tracks. Sometimes these bunnies seem to be a little nocturnal. And I couldn't find their hole. I'd like to find their hole so I could go back there later. But I decided to walk down this cat road a ways and, and uh, see if I can get closer to the creek. There might be a little more activity down that way. So stay tuned. Not having any luck yet, but any day out on the mountain is a good day. So I think we just might take a little tour along this road and just keep an eye off down into the thickets there. It's awful good footing. We're going to give that a shot for a little while and see what happens. But uh, you can see there's tracks right here. Yes sir, he take and smell those. <clears throat> No shortage of hairs down here. They sure blend into the snow. They're in their winter phase right now. And very tough to see. Beautiful morning. Okay, I made it to the edge of the canyon. And uh, right at the edge of the canyon, I found a nice set of snowshoe hair tracks walking right down the snow drift. A 
when he tracks all over up here in these rocks. More bunny tracks going under this big boulder. So how's this gonna work? These things are tough. Well, so far it looks like the bunnies are all holed up. This area looks really good. You can hear running water of the big stream down there in the bottom of the canyon. Steep country, ample cover. This is where the big fire came through. There's still plenty of cover in here. I'm gonna go down a little bit further, try to make it to that stream. And there's a lot of bunny tracks in this thick woods down in here. I'm almost down to the creek bottom now. I'm seeing a lot of bunny tracks. This is looking really good. A lot of bunny tracks. Well, here's the trail the deer use to go down to the creek. I was thinking about heading over there myself. I don't really like being here because this is a mountain lion country. And right below a big rock pinnacle. This is uh, kind of got cougar written all over it. But I do have the dog here and their hackle isn't sticking up so... I guess we'll go down to the creek and get the dog a drink of water. Well, friends, I'm not sure if we're going to get any rabbit for the candlelight dinner tonight, but 
this is why I come out here. It isn't that I need the meat or anything. It's an enjoyable pastime to be out in nature like this. With a half frozen river and a little snow coming down. Just a really special day anytime you can get in the outdoors. Yeah, I'm not too sure about getting water here at this creek. It's uh, mostly frozen over and I'm not seeing any safe areas, but take a closer look. I might have to share my water with the pup. Well, I don't feel comfortable sending the dog anywhere near the river, so I have a quart of water. I'll give her a pint, and I'll save out a pint for her some hot tea. Thinking about making a, a little makeshift camp and build a little fire out here, and wait till later in the afternoon to hunt my way back. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to head over to the trees where it's not blowing and snowing or anything and get some shelter. I see a orange stump up there that's weathered and decayed. And it looks like it could be fatwood. That would be nice. That would be pretty nice about now. It's getting colder out. And it's starting to snow more earnestly. Oh yeah. This does look like fat wood. I think I'll just be stealing a couple pieces of that. I'd like to have that at home. It's a beauty. That would.
quick word from our sponsors, Libby's Vienna Sausage. Come on, Pete. Good dog. That's a good dog. Hey, get some more. There's some more. There's some more. All right. Want some more? Want some more? Okay, get water. Good dog. Well, I fell asleep by the fire, and it's getting late in the day now. I'm not sure I'm going to see any rabbits, but I'm going to give it another half an hour. Uh, there's going to be some sign in this area, so I'm going to hunt this area right at twilight and uh, see if I have any luck. Bunny tracks here. Heading over into this ravine down in that thicker cover. Fifteen minutes left before the end of the shooting hours. Well, friends, it's starting to get dark, and I'm gonna 
Call it a day. Looks like mac and cheese for Valentine's Day tonight. So I want to thank you for coming along. It's been a fun hunt. I'm going to come back down here again after the weather changes a little bit. Maybe when we get some direct sunlight and see if the bunnies are coming out where I can maybe get a shot at one. I hope all of you enjoyed the trip as much as I did. We'll see you next time on our next adventure. Until next time, this is Over and Out from the West Fork Homestead.